Hi, I'm Brad Jerkovich. I pastor a church. In fact, it's a Southern Baptist church. And I'm so grateful for how God has used the Southern Baptist church family in my life throughout all these years. I grew up on the West Coast, mostly Southern California. And as a teenager, God used that Southern Baptist church in my life. Uh, the missional zeal, the commitment to God's word, uh, the passion to build relationships and take a stand for Christ. God used all that as a teenager. And then when I moved to Northwest Arkansas for college, God gave me another incredible relationship with a local Southern Baptist Church. It's where I met my wife Stephanie, launched into full-time ministry, and then I went to seminary in North Carolina, and all these past several years, having the chance to pastor a new church start and now pastor a church that's been here for several years, and we want to do something great for God, but I have been talking with Southern Baptist pastors over the last few years all across the country, and I can tell we're all burdened for a lot of the same things. We're burdened about the road that our Southern Baptist family is going down. There's some concerning characteristics of this road that I can see many pastors and churches very concerned about today. What are some of those concerning characteristics? Well, it's a road that is twisting what God's Word says about things like human sexuality and what all that means. It's a, it's a road that is twisting God's Word about what it means to have biblical racial reconciliation. I mean, we're on a road now where many people say, well, you're a racist for this or that, or we don't even have biblical uh, ra racial reconciliation. Everybody's a victim. I mean, we're twisting all these things. It's a road that is twisting what justice really means, and we're turning it into socialist justice. That's a very dangerous thing. And then they're concerned about things like, uh, why can't we love Jesus and America? It's okay to be a pastor and a patriot. But the road we're on now, there's a lot of concerns about, well, if we do that, what does all that really mean? All these things are concerning. People see power plays and agendas happening on the road that we're on. Many pastors are concerned, and this road is becoming clearer. There really are two roads before Southern Baptist, and those roads could not be more clear now than ever before. So that means every pastor in church has a choice to make. You can stay in the Southern Baptist Convention, not say anything, and watch this denomination drift, drift, drift into oblivion, or you can totally leave. You can walk away, but you need to know when you walk away, you're leaving billions of dollars of assets and mission passion and evangelism strategy over to ideologies that will lead this convention into irrelevancy. Or you can stay. You can stand and take a stand and make a difference. And that's what I believe most Southern Baptist pastors and churches want to do. They're just not sure if they will stand, who will stand with them. Well, I want you to know that I'm ready to stand with you and so are many others. And that's why I'm excited to share with you the exciting launch of a network that thousands of Southern Baptist pastors and churches can join today. What's this new network called and what's it all about? Well, the Conservative Baptist Network is a partnership of Southern Baptists where all generations are encouraged, equipped, and empowered to bring positive biblical solutions that strengthen the SBC in an effort to fulfill the Great Commission and influence culture. We believe there are thousands of Southern Baptist pastors and churches who are not comfortable with the road that our denomination is going down. Don't leave. This is our moment to stand together. And this Conservative Baptist Network is a way that we can connect together, be a voice together, every generation, young and old alike, coming together to take a stand so that God can use our denomination to reach America, to reach the world before Christ returns. I'm so excited about the team that's already formed for this Conservative Baptist Network and churches are joining all the time. Don't leave. This is gonna take courage. This is gonna take courage and conviction and clarity. That's why this network is such a great way for pastors and churches to come together. So let's believe God for great days and a great move of God in and through our Southern Baptist family. This is a way for us to do that, this Conservative Baptist Network. There's information there on your screen. Visit our website. Take advantage of the resources and the moments that we're doing, not just at the annual convention, but throughout the year. God's moving. I want you to be a part of it. Our team wants you to be a part of it. We're in this together. Let's take a stand now through the Conservative Baptist Network.